and um oh wait. shang chi and the legend of the ten rings now playing well that one is september 3rd Uh, welcome back to the podcast. Today we got Gabe Kunda on the podcast, the voice of KO in the video game Valorant. Um, Gabe, how are you yes. doing today? Doing pretty good, man. Can't complain. It's been a good day, a busy day, but all is well, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, all is good. Glad to be here. Yeah. Well, uh, we did have a little bit of technical difficulties uh, earlier in the podcast, but um, we're yeah. just we're just going with it. Uh, stuff happens, uh, and I'm super excited to share our conversation today. Um, so we did talk a little bit about um, your voiceover in movies and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I mm -hmm. do want to ask, right off the rip, can we, can you give us a little voiceover of like a trailer, just something simple? Are you? Are you comfortable uh, uh, doing that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, let me see something that... Oh, okay. I can do this one. Marvel Studios Black Widow. Now playing in select theaters. Now playing in theaters everywhere. That's uh, that's Marvel and... Um, oh, wait. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Now playing. Well, that one is September 3rd. Um, free promo on the podcast <laughs> right shout out to Marvel uh, uh, what's can another you, one can you do like a like a PG-13 like the rated stuff or? oh yeah um, let's see I'm trying to think of uh, the Suicide Squad rated PG-13 um, what's another <laughs> one I'm trying to think um, well actually I think the Suicide Squad rated R um, <laughs> um <laughs> That's another one. Uh, okay, it, I mean, if you guys remember that one back in March, Raya and the Last Dragon, only on Disney Plus. Um, all this is like coming back to me, like oh, my, like I've heard that. That's him. That's him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of other other stuff that I've. I mean, I've done some stuff this year that you probably heard me on. Um. Oh gosh! But the, every time I start thinking about it, I don't remember. The big one when I found you was the NBA Finals. That was cool. Oh yeah, that was a whole like monologue thing. Um, that was funny. I did the Western Conference, and then they were like, "We'd like to bring you back for the <clears throat> for the um actual NBA Finals." I'm like, "Bro, absolutely! <laughs> Can I?" Like, sure. <laughs> and so I ended up doing all the the games for that, and that was like a it was a dream come true for sure. Um, I would have never, ever, ever think I was gonna be doing that like anytime soon. So I, I'm grateful. Well, I I think it like like you said the they're probably like, would you like to do this? You're like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. What else would I be doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, when when it comes to like do you. There's probably a sense of like a like a little kid in you when you get to like do, you know, either like a Marvel movie or, oh yeah, uh, the NBA Finals. Like how oh ex gosh. how exciting is that? Like it's crazy, crazy exciting. I mean, like, you know, you don't <clears throat> you don't get those opportunities all the time. And for me, at my you know, for, this is four years of me doing this full time, and to be able to work on something like that, which you know, probably take. I don't know. I, I don't know everybody else's line, but I figured it would be like 10 years down the road. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to get the opportunity to do that, I mean, it carries a lot of weight for me, man. Those are hallmarks of my life and, and, and kind of points in my life that I can look to. It's like, oh, man, I did this. Um, I definitely plan on making like a, I don't know if a movie board where it just kind of have pins of just like all the, the big movies that I've done and the stuff I've got to work on. Especially when I, when I booked the Christopher Nolan film, Tenet, um, that was like, Tenet, really PG-13, that that stuff. Um, that was back in the summer. One of the longest campaigns I've ever done in my life. Like, we started working on it in, like, March. We didn't stop working on it till like, I think it was the, the movie ultimately came out in September. So that never happens with the movie. Um, but it was fun, man. Christopher Nolan was sitting there listening to 
all of my reads and giving it thumbs up, thumbs down. I wasn't in the room with him, but he, you know, he, there was like literally every night it was like, we have to get this to Christopher. We have to get this. I'm like, Oh my God. <laughs> and so it's crazy. Uh -huh. It's crazy to me. Um, <clears throat> to, to think that, to think that it goes through the ears of people that you look up to, like those copies was like, wait, he doesn't know who I am, but he hears me almost like every day because yeah. he's sitting there. Like, you know, it's, it's wild when you think about it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I bet. Yeah. Uh, when it, like, when it comes to, like, who you are and who I, like, see you as, yeah. like, you're just a very, like, humble, like, real guy that I see on the internet. And I, I really appreciate that. Like, the fact that you're doing this when, you know, there's things that you probably could out or be doing otherwise. I really appreciate it because... Like, not a lot of people give time to to just have a conversation, especially with someone yeah. what, what you're doing. And it's really nice to just be able to, you know, pick your brain and see, a, like, a good guy. I really appreciate, man, I appreciate that. Oh, well, I appreciate that. It's I, – I, I enjoy it, man, because some – um you know, especially with the Valorant stuff, and I've had a lot of people reach out and tell me, you know, how much character means to them or, like, uh, even the work that I do in anime and – and stuff and i always love listening to that and, and responding and engaging with with you know supporters and and, and friends is, is what i call them. i don't know i really like the term fans it's it's like yeah it's, it's... weird I, I like friends supporters are just kind of like people who kind of cheer you on and and stuff and so any if i can't have a moment to do something like this i try to um just because it's also fun to get to know the other person and see what they do and it's the first time i'm i'm, I'm connecting with you on on this level so um yeah dude it's absolutely it's a pleasure of mine it really is i appreciate you thinking of me for this and so yeah as we move more towards valorant um sure. i do want to ask how did you follow me on tiktok because i kind of i was at my grandma's house and i kind of had a moment where i was like guys i gotta step away for a second i i'm i don't get no. shocked very often but i was <laughs> No, I, I um I saw your stuff on TikTok and then I saw the other people that you had on and stuff and so I wanted to see more. So I was like, I'm gonna follow him. He seems like a fun fun person, a fun guy, and he's got a cool setup and stuff and he's getting some <laughs> awesome reactions from the voice actors and stuff. So you were cool in my book, so I followed <laughs> you. <laughs> uh what do you uh, so I did I watched your I watched some of your YouTube videos last night and Oh okay. I I actually had a moment, like, not because you're who you are. I was watching your video, and I said, I, like, I didn't subscribe to you because I, like, it was you. I subscribed to you because I was actually, like, I was, like, immersed in the video, and it was the, the microphone video. Oh, yeah. Because, and I, because I'm big, I'm big microphone guy. I love microphones. Oh. Um, and I was, like, I got to subscribe to him, and I was, like, oh, yeah, it's KO, so... Was second. I love it. Yeah, I just want to no, let you know that KO was second. It was only because you KO. I love it, man. It's so funny. I'm starting to get people like commenting on like all my videos, like suppressed or like <laughs> you know you are powerless, and just like people will just go in and just comment just random like phrases of KO, and I yeah. love it. It's 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 cool to you know, if they're leaving, it's taking the time to leave a comment like that. It means like. So it meant something to them in some way or it had yeah. some sort of an impact or whatever so i love it um but yeah i appreciate that <laughs> uh what what microphone are you currently using right now and like talking to me yeah so currently i'm um using the, the neumann tlm 103 okay. um i have two of these bad boys yes um you probably see it there it's i got the black version of it because i just like everything black <laughs> um and yeah and so that's kind of the things i'm using i was first using well, my very first mic was the the Rode NT1, mm -hmm. and then I moved from that to a Sennheiser 416, which is a, a super kind of directional microphone, and you kind of see it in movies, like they have it over like a boom mic, and yeah. you know when people are talking and stuff. And so, um, and the reason why I did that was for mostly promos and trailers. With promos and trailers, um, it's good to have a mic that kind of cuts through and that is very um, focused presence, like right there at, at, at your mouth and able to pick up every nook and cranny of your voice, um, without getting things on the outside. 
and so it works great for for that and also it worked great as a travel mic as well yeah so i was able to kind of take it around and like if i was in a hotel room with a lot of noise around and a lot of ac stuff i was able to kind of put a blanket over myself and read and it sounds just fine because it kind of picks up the with the direction of it is, is, is you know pointing and so um yeah i was using that and then finally i and i didn't want to do the tlm 103 i was like i don't need it like i'm good i'm good and then one day i was like oh, let me it, it was when the lockdown happened and i started to get a lot of requests from different studios of like it'd be great if you had a neumann tlm 103 because that's what they use in all their studios for animation and video games and so i was like okay i'm gonna buy one and see what it is i bought one put it in and I had been using it for a couple of weeks and I was like like this mic and so I started <laughs> I bought another one because I loved it so much and I put it on, on my stand up rig thing um, and so that's what I'm using for literally everything like I didn't think I would use it for I thought I would just keep it for video games and animation but it's been keeping up with the, the trailer stuff too so I'm just kind of like oh, this is this is dope man this is dope so let me join it do you have like a do you have a dream mic is that something like is i don't i don't know a dream mic yeah, yeah. uh n honestly it was the u87 yeah but um not anymore honestly if i can be honest with you i don't have a dream mic anymore um the 103 is like the thing for me I, i've enjoyed it and um the u87 is like i don't know four grand three yeah grand, i was gonna say the, the u87 <laughs> is is a is a used car <laughs> absolutely oh, well yeah right and, 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 and the thing about it is is it's like it, it can probably do more harm than good depending on your sound environment <laughs> um you know what i'm saying because it picks up literally everything um and so it's like I was like, ah, uh, I was like, I mean, I have a pretty good studio setup, but I do have an AC unit that's just like right outside this this kind of like uh, acoustic shielded window, and uh, when it goes, you do kind of hear the lower frequencies. But if I had the seven, the U eighty seven, you would definitely be able to hear that joint coming through the wall. <laughs> um, so I was, I'm good. I, I don't really have one yet, I, and and frankly, I haven't used anything yet that I've been like, oh my god, like yeah this is you know like whatever um so until that day comes i enjoy what i had man i'm definitely I, I i'm a minimalist in that i love to keep things simplified and if it works it mm -hmm. clicks it works it, it that's that's fine um for me and i don't like to have too much gear around or whatever it starts to kind of clutter my mind and i'm like oh, maybe i should use that maybe i should use that but i don't sound good on that but it, and it's like i don't know no 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 I, I i have a weapon of choice it's my tlm so I'm loving it right now and then if anything else changes my mind then we may go that way mm -hmm. yeah when it like now that i i primarily do podcasts and i i have a pretty good podcast mic i see it a lot the sm7b um, yeah, yeah. um but i definitely do keep my eye out i was actually gonna get the nt1 uh the road solid mic yeah because i saw solid. i saw it once on a podcast and I was like, I want it, but I just I've stuck with this one for a while because I, I I enjoy it. It's it, this is my dream mic because I just see everyone use it, so I just like I have to have it. <laughs> no, it's it's great. And I, the thing about the Rode NC1 is like if you EQ it right, you can kind of get you can almost get that that Neumann sound. That's the thing that it blows my mind about it. It is so it it can it can be very versatile, and um, so that's why I have it. I keep it somewhere around here i have it on my box and so <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna give it up soon but um no it's a great great mic if you ever decide to to jump at it but i think that the great thing about that mic right there is also kind of directional so i mean like um mm -hmm. you know if you're in a place where it's loud or messy or whatever or, you know there's got a lot of noises then it, it, it does a good job of kind of mm -hmm. cutting that stuff out yeah all right long awaited topic for people who are here ah uh, Valorant. So yes. you are you're the last character that has been added into the game. Yes. And I do want to say I have absolutely loved the way that you embraced it. Of just full on like being KO and yeah. 
it's it's been awesome because there there is a reaction of am i gonna get into like this world or or am i just gonna do the character and then move on to the mm. next and you've you've had the ability to move on you could have just been like yeah i did video this video game and but you know i'm doing the nba finals now but you've you've stuck with us you stuck with us gamers and, and we appreciate it um so when did you personally get ko because i'm wondering when they were when they booked that yeah so i um i got the audition for ko like the first few week of march um of 2021 Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. It's either the last week of February or the first week of March. But I know that I got the call for him maybe the second week of March. Um, and yeah, so that that's about the depth. That's the timeline on that. Okay. If I remember correctly, yeah. And how much did you develop the character with when it comes to voice, or how? Yeah. How much was it just like directing? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no. So, so when when I got the when I got the audition, it's interesting too. Um, I saw they had a picture of him, mm -hmm. uh, and he looked pretty pretty close to what he does now, which is surprising because a lot of times you know you do all that audition and then you see it and they're like, oh, they've changed a lot of stuff about him. But he was pretty. They had a pretty good handle on what he would look like. Mm -hmm. Um, and so when I was reading the lines though. And the voice lines, all the stuff that you're hearing now, as through the audition, I was like, there ain't no way like a robot is going to say, Brimstone got your back, brother, in a robotic tone, like in a <laughs> just kind of flat, like, you know, whatever, um, kind of feel like, like, imagine if Siri said that, like, th I, like that's what I was imagining. It's, but I started auditioning it that way. I started going down the lines and kind of doing it very, Brimstone, got your back, frag grenade suppressed like very flat very just kind of you know whatever there um and then i got halfway through the audition i was like no that there's just no way that a, i mean i don't think it doesn't make sense for a mm -hmm. robot to sound like this saying these words that sound super like super like involved and almost humanistic at, at, at mm -hmm. points and so I said, I'm just going to erase this and start again. I'm going to just going to try what I feel makes the most sense. And I went for it. And that's what you hear now. I did that in the audition. And uh, a week later, um, I was like, like it was a Friday or something like that. I got a call from my agent and she was like, hey, the team at Riot, like, they love you. And they sent you a note, too. They wanted to give you, let you know, you know, how much they enjoyed your audition and how much whatever you brought to the, the, the character. And so I got a note from them. And it's so so many kind things about how they, they, they felt like I brought the character to life and how they appreciated the, the, the life of the lifeness and how it didn't make him feel too stale and stuff. It just made him feel like there was some character and some history there. And they really appreciated that. And then, like, maybe two weeks later, we hopped on our first uh exploratory session and just kind of like figuring out his vibe and figuring seeing him come to life for just four hours that's what we were doing had another session in april another one in, at the end of april and then by may um we we had, i think we had one more session at the top of may oh no actually no i think by by the end of april we were done with all the recordings for ko and then um may and then maybe the the last the f right the week before ko released we had another session and then boom ko came out um and yeah it's been insane um you know kind of seeing his reaction and how much people are enjoying playing him and stuff and so yeah i've been trying to keep up with the community and trying to stay involved and and you know reach out because like, i've been i've been hopping in people's twitches and stuff like that and watching their gameplay and saying yo what's up thank you for playing ko or thank you for for the love because sometimes i'll have ko titles in there and i'll get on twitch and i'll see their video recommended to me and i'll just hop on and see them playing or whatever and they'll say oh i love ko and, and they'll kind of do the, the quotes and stuff like that and i'll come in and say yo what's up i voice the character and sometimes they won't believe me at all mm -hmm. like they don't even like ah whatever you know because i don't have a i don't have like 
I have my, my I've had my account since 2015, and that's the only thing that keeps him like, oh, maybe he is real because he's kept his account that long. But you know, I don't have like a some the fanfare on my my Twitch account, so. Um, but it's cool to see the reactions and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Long story long. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love the long answers. Don't worry. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I I just think it was super interesting because all the other like because you have a different story than all the other voice actors. Like they're like, yeah, yeah. we couldn't know anything. Uh, they gave us maybe like a code name for the character, and then yeah, it, actually, I will say that I did. It was under a code name. Um, and I don't even remember what the code oh. name was. Yeah, I, um, I don't even remember what the code name was. And, and and frankly, I think if even if I remember, I probably can't say it just because it's like we still get like the work in code names. We still get the the sessions in code names. So I don't even I don't even think I will be at I, liberty to say. Uh, I think his code name is was it grenade grenader grenadier? I, oh, what is it? It's it's out there. It's in gotcha. uh, on the Valorant wiki. Okay. It's, I cool. don't I don't know how to say that name to be honest. It's like uh yeah, I can't. <laughs> I, but yeah. It's, it's, yeah. I uh thinking um uh, they all I mean, I've I've heard all the code names before, so. Oh, okay. But, but if you don't I I don't want to ever make you feel like oh, I just said something. <laughs> No, no. I, I listen. I'm good. Like I, I, I try. You know, if 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 I had a complete green light to just be like, I would definitely say. It, but I'm just like, I, I don't know. I don't know the name. I think if, if this is if it's online, I guess it's true. But um, no. Uh, th that's how it came to me. Even the pro, even Valorant. It didn't say Valorant in it. I didn't know what it was for. Okay. But I remember last year in 2020. I think it was like literally when Valorant was about to come out. I thought it was a TV show. And I landed on it through a YouTube uh, a YouTube um, video. It, it, it came on my suggested YouTube stuff, and it was a cinematic trailer. Oh which yeah. Which I now know, which I now know, it was like a part of the world. But I thought I was like, "What show is this? Where well, you've got a black guy, fire stuff coming around him, chasing after who I now know is Jet, or the other way around. I, I forget how that kind of. Thing. But I was like, this is gonna be an amazing show. I want to be a part of this. Like I, you know, I was I was asking my agent. I was like, how do I get a part of this show? Like what have the auditions are out or whatever. Had no clue that like a year later or maybe you know whatever months later that I'd be auditioning for it and and getting into the world. And so when I discovered what it was and kind of started doing research, I was like, oh, this is the thing. This is the thing. And so yeah, man, that's kind of how that whole thing transpired that is so cool uh do you i do it's okay if you don't have a favorite one but do you have a favorite voice line that you want to say if not i can i can give you um or maybe one that you get requested a lot i get requested i definitely get your press you are powerless a lot um so you are powerless I get that quite a bit. Um, and uh, also, they're suppressed. Um, what's another one I get all the time? Uh, oh, man. Yeah, those are the two I can remember off the bat. Uh, I, I got a comment the other day that was like, my favorite part of all your videos are how you always look like a kid when they're saying the voice lines. And uh, <laughs> I was just thinking about that. I was like, yeah, uh, I do. I definitely do. I That's like, cool, man. I like, uh, I'm, I'm about to go full killer robot. You've been warned. Oh, uh, I'm about to go full killer robot. You've been warned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, it just doesn't get old. It never gets old. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It. Um yeah, I just I there's just something about, you know, hearing your favorite character just say stuff to you, you know? No, uh, for sure. I there, there was a I was in a session um where I was I, I it was for a show that we're working on. It's going to be coming out here soon. Um I was in a session with the voice of 
uh, Bugs Bunny and um, Eric Bowser. And uh, I was listening and I was like, bro, you are Bugs Bunny. And he was saying, he was doing his thing. He was in his own session, like doing his, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> that is like, that's insane. It's just like, it sends kind of chills down your body. Cause it's like, you hear it all the time. And so then to see it in real life and to see like upon request, you know, it's mind blowing. So I, I totally understand it, man. Totally. Um, I do this thing. My best friend is a, a very big Valorant fan. And I get the voice actors to say his name in the voice and then say just like a quick little line. So if you're up for it, uh, yeah. okay. So his name is Techie. And, uh, if you could just say like Techie, they're suppressed or something like that. Okay. And then I send it to him and I'm like best friend of the year. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, Techie, they're suppressed. KO. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. You are, you, you know, you, you you get that award. Best friend of the year for sure. <laughs> Shout out to Techie. <laughs> um, so what, what, when you were, uh, like in the process of Valorant, um, yeah. what, what did you... Or at least what did they tell you? And then what did you interpret about the character of what he would be like? Um, because I, I, I don't know how much they, they did give you. Yeah, they, I mean, they gave me some scope in terms of like some of the, the pillars of him. He's definitely um someone who is comfortable in the line of battle is definitely he is not his while other people are running away he's like oh yay i get to actually come out here in battle even if it's me against five thousand mm -hmm. and people it's five thousand radiance um he was designed um to kill all radiance man and, and, and to and so he is so comfortable with that and so making it feel the confidence and the, the the gravitas of his character and it's just like like if you hear him you know if you if you get suppressed he's around a corner somewhere <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and 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 also making him feel um when he's on his alt that it's about to be a problem man that like, it's about to be you know kind of shaking your boots type thing so we wanted to kind of embody that but we also wanted to have a, a, a point where he did have there are some of the lines a little bit on the I guess more contemplative side or more softer side where he's reflecting about something or he's alluding about, you know, maybe things that he's lost or, you know, just kind of those things. Um, and so they, they've kind of shaped th that world. I didn't quite know the arcs in terms of like the relationships. I, I knew the relationship of, of, of Brimstone and in that kind of tie in, um, but everything else for the most part it was it was pretty I, I had to do some research and I and I actually uh, um, I loved um, watching uh, Simprel's videos um, he uh, well, they um, do a great job of kind of breaking down um, the, the 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 you know the, the lore and stuff and also Valorant Hub um, yes shout out Zachy Zachy um, I think today's his birthday actually I think I saw something that was, today was his birthday or yesterday was his birthday but uh, happy birthday Zachy <laughs> um, but I'm you know keeping up with with Simperel and Zachy and what they're putting out and they didn't know this but I, that was kind of my studying of like the world of Valorant and trying to figure it out and understand where I play the part um, so anyway that's kind of what I knew and they and then the writers also Joe he did an amazing job of kind of helping me figure this because he wrote it I mean that was his baby so um, he did a great job of kind of guiding me through it um, without giving me too much overview because sometimes it can be overwhelming like if you're as an actor i'm coming in and i'm coming to do a job for this character i mean it's good to know about the world but if i'm giving every everything on the platter then it's kind of hard i don't know quite what to do with it so i think it's sometimes a good thing to have kind of a scope of a specific character and how he plays with a specific other character 
and then allow that to kind of grow and and if there are things that come in i'm like oh okay and it com- becomes a more natural thing rather than me kind of anticipating a relationship between a, another character or a lore or whatever mm-hmm. uh there's been a lot of um kind of fan theories on the relationship between ko and brimstone uh mm-hmm. on what that could possibly be there's been a, a lot where i've seen like ko's a future version of brimstone or like just stuff like that but i just i just thought it was interesting like the relationship there i don't know if you have any thoughts on what what that might be yeah. i mean i have thoughts I have, I have quite a bit of thoughts just because i was you know i'm always you know i'm i'm in the sessions and so i'm able to have questions and stuff like that whether i'm at liberty to discuss those stuff th- oh okay not, okay no nah, you're thing, good you're but, good but um you know yeah there 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 is obviously some type something there and uh it's it's uh it'd be interesting to see how that unfolds in in kind of you know over the next few acts and or episodes and stuff and acts and, and so and just kind of divulging that and open that up a little bit mm-hmm. i definitely would keep your ears eyes and out because there's a lot a lot a lot a lot of good things like the riot team is really good at what they do and it's constructing a story and every time they would explain to me what's going on i'm like yo they're gonna go nuts over this too bad we can't talk about it for another i don't know how long <laughs> but i guess i'll just know, have to wait but it's still dope though keep yeah. you on your on your feet yeah it's a little different when we're when we're talking about stuff you can't say in riot <laughs> it's like i there's no reason yeah. to press <laughs> at all yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> Um, I do want to get a, a couple more voice lines for, sure. for TikTok to make sure that everyone, everyone knows that you were here. Yeah. yeah. Um, but okay. So we'll get a, we'll get a brimstone voice line for you here. Okay. Um, brimstone, I'd hug you, but it would kill you. I'm serious. No hugs. Brimstone, I'd hug you, but it would kill you. I'm serious, no hugs. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun line. Um, let's do. Uh, I've seen what that enemy sky becomes. Deal with her now. Trust me. I've seen what that enemy sky becomes. Deal with her now. Trust me. I think that's a little. That line, what she becomes, because there's a lot that she becomes some, or like she has oh, the yeah. path to choose. So that's interesting. Yeah, Sky, Sky, man, I think Sky is one of those, and this is just my besides besides uh, the world of Valorant, and I have no, I'm you know, I'm not speaking on any type of experience. Uh, I'm just speaking on based on what I've what I've been doing. I think Sky is some someone to definitely look out for, um, because yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sky ain't no joke. Sky ain't no joke. Mm-hmm. And she's played by an ama- also an awesome voice actress, Miranda O'Hare. Yes, so, my my favorite. She on is. Both fronts. Yes, she is the uh, she's the best. Yeah, she's dope. And she's gonna love that you said that too. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Let's see. Let's do. Um. Reyna, I'm programmed to kill you. Don't give me a mm. reason. Reyna, I'm programmed to kill you. Don't give me a reason. Yeah, that's. I think that's the. That's the line that you say when you when Reyna's on your team. Mm, yeah. Believe. Yes. Um, That's that is what it so says. It's like no funny business, Reyna, and you better revive me. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll get one more in here, and then uh, we'll wrap up, and I'll let you get get out of here. Sure. Uh, I'm trying to see. I want to get. I want to make sure that we that I don't don't get out of here and be like, dang, I wish I would have had him said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, this is this is a very uh, activating kill mode. That's a joke. Kill mode is default. <laughs> I love it. 
Activating kill mode. That's a joke. Kill mode is default. <laughs> I love that. That line is crazy. And then another one is I love is um, I know what you're thinking. Aimbot. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. That's brilliant. <laughs> that is that's so good. I read it on there. It is that 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 line is so good. Um yeah. Actually, I did see another one that I want, and then, then I'll let you go. Uh, sure. If I'm powered down, restart me. You leave me for scrap, I'll kill you. If I power down, restart me. You leave me, you leave me for scrap, and I'll kill you. Let me try that again. If I power down, restart me. You leave me for scrap, and I'll kill you. Uh... All right, that that is all we have today, and I I really greatly appreciate you coming on and being such a such a great guy and and uh, doing all of my my uh, voice lines for me. Or man, the pleasure is all mine, man. I appreciate the opportunity, and uh, this was fun for sure. We yeah. gotta do it again. Uh, we gotta do it again next time with the the you know the whole cast. I think that'll be fun. With me? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Am I like the val like podcast guy now? I don't. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like it. it I mean, it's it's. You it seem to get a lot of folks on and stuff, and so it's it's a good time. So who who knows? I mean, I'm I'm fun. all for it. <laughs> I'm all for it. I'm trying to go to uh. If you guys are ever doing uh, like a convention, I'm trying to go because I feel like people are gonna be like, oh yeah, I did the podcast with you. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I, man, we. Oh man, I would. That would be dope to go to a convention with the rest of the the, the folks that on, on the game, man. That would be that would be killer. We have like a Valorant kind of panel or something. That'd be dope. That'd, That'd be, be so, dope. so cool. <laughs> so dope. Um, you gotta kind of go the back. We gotta get like our scripts out and start just reading to each other <laughs> like our, our, our like responses, reactions to one another. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be that'd make for great TV. Yes, very very much so. <laughs> All right, Gabe. I, I I greatly appreciate it. I'll I'll get Absolutely. you out of here, and uh, everything that every link that Gabe has will be in the description. And uh, yeah, that's that's it's been fun, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. See you next time. Thank you.